will proceed in calculation of the surface area through Jacobian in calculation. The calculation of surface area, what we have been seeing, calculation of surface area of a cone. This is what we are trying calculation of surface area of a cone and that we are using Jacobian. There are two forms in Jacobian. There are two forms in Jacobian. One is direct Jacobian, one is indirect Jacobian. What we are seeing in calculation of the surface area is indirect Jacobian, whereas calculation of volume provides direct Jacobian. Jacobian can, it is not necessarily that full fledged Jacobian we can use. We can use partial Jacobian. So, there are many forms in Jacobian. First thing. Second thing, if someone understand calculus very well, then like Jacobian, he can invent many things. Jacobian is nothing but derivative of a surface area with respect to derivative of surface area with respect to any other surface area. It may belong to another coordinate system. So, now we are talking about, we will proceed in the surface area calculation of a cone. Cone, that cone, that is, that is nothing but the indirect way of, of Jacobian. So, surface area of a cone, so that paper is gone. Okay, so this, <laughs> this is the paper now. So this is this is a cone. This is a cone, and for cone, we are trying to calculate the full surface area. Cone is sitting on top of xy plane, and it is centered at the origin. Cone is this is xy plane. Cone is sitting on top of xy plane. It has height as h and radius here, this is circle and radius is a. If radius is a, height is h, then what is the surface area of the cone? That is the question. Okay, I am not talking about this surface area. This is surface area is pi a square. I am talking about what is surface area of this cone, how we can calculate surface area of a cone. If you see this calculation of surface area through Cartesian coordinate system, if I have a, if I have x y plane, if I have idea is not to calculate the surface area of a cone, idea is to let someone calculate surface area of any shape. So that is the that is the concept. Now this is x y plane, and consider that it is surface like this. Now, right now we have a cone. If the surface is there, I take any point on the surface as P. This point, if I connect a line to the origin, then the vector, position vector would be Xi plus Yj plus Zk. If that is the case, that P point is X comma Y comma Z. X comma Y comma Z. If that is the coordinate of point P, then position vector is xi plus yj plus zk. If this is the position vector of point P, then what is the, if this is the surface, if this is the surface, this surface, if this is the xy plane, if I take this surface down and then see that it maps to this region on the xy plane. So, or indirectly if I say, if I have a rectangular region on xy plane, on xy plane, if I have a rectangular region around the circle, rectangular region, this region, rectangular region maps to a, maps to a surface area on the surface, some area, some confined area, okay. What is the, what is the area, what is the surface area that maps to a rectangular region in xy plane. Okay. 
that is the question if i take any point p on that mapped surface not full surface i'm not talking about full surface if there is a rectangular region on x y plane centered at the origin that rectangular region go and map to some certain area on this surface what is that certain area what is the area meter square what is the area if this rectangular region has length length the width in x width as a and length as b the width is a and y direction it is b that is the rectangular region it maps to certain area on the surface what is the area of that area okay if that is the case i take any point p here and then from origin there is a position vector p p is a point and p on top of it if i draw an arrow it becomes a vector so that position vector is xi plus yj plus zk if that is the case then dp by dx dp d position vector by dx cross product d position vector by dy so d position vector by dx would be i plus dz by dxk xi plus yj plus zk dp by dy would be j plus dz by dy k so dp by dx is i and k means if this is xz plane this is yz plane this is z axis this is x axis this is y axis in xz plane dp by dx somewhere it hangs dp by dy same where it hangs in yz plane because it has j and k as component so at any moment if i do cross product dp by dx many times i have shown it so if this is the conical surface or if this is the surface this is xy plane i am taking any point p here the, at this p if i do dp by dx then it hangs in the in xz plane dp by dy hangs in in yz plane so dp by dx cross dp by dy so dp by dx at any moment consider it is like this and dp by dy consider at any moment it is like this this is the angle it is making it is not 90 degree it is a parallelogram or at any moment it is like this then it is again not a perpendicular this is again a per parallelogram it is not perpendicular completely okay so what would be the area dp by dx cross dp by dy would give the area in between area vector since it is p by x p by y it is velocity area vector it is called so dp by dx cross dp by dy is nothing but d surface area by dx y plane okay so if this is the surface at any moment p is there at that moment what is the d surface by dxy plane dp by dx cross dp by dy if that is the area vector velocity area vector what is the direction everywhere direction depends upon the algebra what is algebra at that point so here direction would be like this here direction would be like this, perpendicular so dp by dx cross dp by dy if I calculate the magnitude that is d surface area at p at p point p d surface area by d x y plane if I calculate the magnitude and multiplied by d x y plane because it is d surface area by d x y plane we want the surface area then I have to multiply by d x y plane or either I would say integrate it with d x y plane d x d y so d d p by dx cross dp by dy calculate the magnitude of a vector this will be a vector and integrate is with dx dy someone would get the integration what is the limit of x and y for whatever the surface we are calculating the surface area for that surface you see the set of x comma y that would that would map on here we have taken a rectangular reason x is minus a to a and y is minus b to b then the limit is a minus a to a and y is minus b to b because that mapping only we took on the surface that region only i want the surface area the surface area by dx y plane and dx dy okay 
Now, with the cone, same thing we are doing. Now, if I have a cone, <laughs> if I have a cone, okay, if I have a cone, okay, if I have a cone, and in the cone, I take any point P, I want to calculate the full surface area. This surface area, if I take on the XY plane, it would map on a circle. It would map on a circle. That circle is nothing but base circle of this right angle cone. Base circle is A. Height of the cone is S. These two only are mentioned. Now I have to find surface area. If I take any point P here, the position is Xi plus Yj plus Zk. Xi plus Yj plus Zk is the position vector. Okay, what is the relationship? Now, if I take this cone, mind it, this is Cartesian coordinate system. We have not moved to cylindrical coordinate system. Now, this is the cone. Consider, this is the cone. If this is the cone, I have taken this point as P. Okay, this is the A, radius of the cone. This is the height. If I take any point P, the height is Z. Then this height is H minus Z. Okay, if that is true, then this is temporary radius. Okay, this cone is full 360 degree. Or if I take any point here, then if I cut it here, it will be a circle. Circle whose x component is x and y component is y. Or circle with temporary radius as r. And that circle, if I cut, the circle is at height z. This height is h minus z. h is full height. a is the base radius. This circle radius is r. So r square equal to x square plus y square. And then a, this a, a by h is nothing but r by this height, r by z, h minus z, r by h minus z is a by h, r equal to h minus z by h into, into a, or r equal to h minus z into a by h. Okay, now this is understood. So, it is like that, r equal to h h minus z by h into a. r is nothing but x square plus y square square root. x square plus y square square root into h divided by a equal to h minus z. Then z equal to h h. This is very uh, complex. Okay. So, r by x square plus y square square root, x square plus y square square root by h minus z equal to a by h. Okay. So, h minus z, h minus z equal to square root of a square minus y square h by a. Then z equal to h minus h minus z equal to h minus and then h minus h by a square root of x square plus y square. That is the equation of z. z is dependent component and x and y are independent component. z, z, z equal to h minus and then h by a into a square root of x square plus y square. That is equation of z. So, now we are in phase of calculating the surface area. dp by dx cross dp by dy. Okay. Whatever comes integration with calculate the magnitude and integration with dx dy. So, p, p is xi plus yj plus zk where z, z is h z is h minus h by a square root of x square plus 
y square. So someone has to differentiate in that way dp by dx cross dp by dy magnitude and dx dy. Anyone would start sweating. But how I can do this much where position vector is xi plus yj xi plus but we can take the up. Uh, I can proceed in, in Cartesian only. So if I have dp by dx is i plus z dz by dx k and dp by dy is j plus dz by dy k. If someone does the cross product it becomes minus dz by dx i minus dz by dy j plus k. Magnitude of this is dz by dx whole square plus dz by dy whole square plus 1 square root and then dx dy is the equation of surface area. But since someone cannot do this much because for z equal to h minus h by a and square root of x square minus x square plus y square then dz by dx whole square plus dz by dy whole square plus 1 it will be almost impossible very difficult if that is the case then we are free to use cylindrical coordinate system because cone form cone falls in cylindrical coordinate system where there is a base radius and there is a height if that is the case how we can proceed in cylindrical coordinate system in direct way in Jacobian calculation that comes into the picture. What we are trying to do now? dp by dx cross dp by dy is nothing but, but d surface area by the surface is mapped on the xy plane that is dxy. d surface area by dxy into dxy. d surface area from xy plane whatever the region we are calculating the integration on xy plane on xy plane if in our example, we have taken a rectangular reason, any reason. Here, in cone, it is circular reason. So, in xy plane, there is a circular reason which is mapped on the surface that becomes a cone. So, now, the d surface area, that is the surface area of cone by dx, y, d small bracket x, y into d small bracket x, y. Here, we have to calculate the magnitude of this. This is Jacobian, d surface area by dxy, x, y, then its magnitude. Now, if that is the case, dp by dx cross dp by dy, now the numerator is dx, y. That can be written. Now, if I am taking cylindrical coordinate system, then x, y, z. Right now, z is dependent upon x and y plane. So, the net coordinate system is x, y, z. Now we are we are using another coordinate system called theta r z coordinate system. Theta r z coordinate system that is also called cylindrical coordinate system. Theta r and z. So x y z would map into theta r and z that is cylindrical coordinate system. What is the transformation for these two? x equal to x equal to r cos theta, y equal to r sin theta, z equal to z. So, what is r cos theta, r sin theta? If this is, okay, if this is a cone, if this is a cone, I have taken any height z, any height z and I make a cross section here that forms a circle. In that circle, there is a small radius r. That circle, if I take in xy plane, this is a small circle here. This is bigger circle that has radius a. This small circle has r radius r. So any moment x is r cos theta, y is r sin theta, and height is z anyway. Now, now we are going to change it. First, I have to change the limit. Then I have to change the integrand, and then I have to change the differential. So integrand is is d surface area by dx comma y. Differential is dx comma y. dx comma I can write as dx comma y by d theta by d by d theta r, not theta. There are two three things in the, the, here we are mapping into x y plane. That is that's why it is x comma y. But here when we go for surface area, then what is the surface area of the cone? If this is the cone, if this is the cone, 
if this is the cone, if we are, we are calculating the surface area of the cone, then surface area, if, it, if I take this surface area is made up of what? Surface area has two components, any area has two components, width and height. So height is height and width. So if, this, if I take any area, if I take any area patch here, then there are two things. One side is height and other side is the curvature, that is the arc. So arc is nothing but is it, it has variable of angle, that is the arc. And height has variation of z. So, so here variable is theta and z. Now we have integrand as the surface area by dx comma y into dx comma y. Now dx comma y I can write as dx comma y dx comma y by d theta z into d theta z. Now net is the surface area the surface area in xy plane the surface area by dx comma y into dx comma y by d theta z into d theta z. Now the last d theta z I can freely write as d theta into dz. dx comma y dx comma y gone. Now it is, see this, this, this is indirect dependency. Now d surface area by d theta z into d theta z that is d theta dz. Now I have to calculate d surface area by d theta z. Please concentrate here. Now I have two independent, two independent variable. Okay. Now if this is x y plane, then this is the surface. And then if this is x, y plane, then this is u, v, w plane or theta, r, z plane. Theta, r, z plane, x, y plane and on top of x, y plane, one surface is there. So this z, f, x, y, f, x, y, function over x, y, this z or surface is dependent upon x and y. Whereas this x and y is dependent upon this u, v, w, u, v, w or theta, r, z, theta, r theta z, theta r z, right now it is theta and z. So x y is dependent upon theta and z, where the on x y plane, the surface is dependent upon x y plane. We took out the x y plane and made this surface dependent directly upon theta and z. Can you see this? This is chain rule or indirect. This is our principle. This is not available anywhere else. What people they write in the book, they only understand. This is what I believe. Support us. This way, it will help you to learn more. So, telephone number of India country code is plus 91 and then 94831-60610. 94831-60610. Plus 91 is India, India country code. Now, Earlier we had x, y plane on top of which surface was there and surface was dependent upon the x, y plane. Now x, y plane is dependent upon theta z. Now x, y plane we are taking out completely. Now this surface is directly dependent upon theta z. This is what we are doing. This is indirect way of Jacobian. Not direct way of Jacobian. Now surface is in x, y, z and the base is theta z. Earlier surface was in x, y, z and base was x, y plane. Now x, y plane we are taking out completely and surface we are making dependent upon theta, z plane. If that is the case, now the integrate grand is d, d surface area by d theta, z into d theta, d, z or d, d, d small d in braces theta comma z braces close. So d theta dz. What is the surface area in xy plane? By d theta z. This is the cross Jacobian. Cross Jacobian, chain rule Jacobian or you can say indirect Jacobian. So someone has to calculate this. What now? If d surface by d theta means, if d surface by dxy means dp by dx cross dp by dy. Now it is dp by d theta cross dp by dz. What is P vector? P vector is xi plus yj plus zk. Now if I transform into the theta rz, now it is r cos theta i plus r sin theta j 
plus z k. So z by d theta cross z by d z. So if I take it by d theta, then it becomes r cos theta becomes r minus sin theta i plus r. R does not have any theta. So I can proceed in r minus sin theta i plus r cos theta j plus 0 because z and theta in differentiation gone. These are the two things that remain there in dp by dx cross dp, dp by d theta, dp by dz. Now r has z component. So r equal to, if you remember, then r, r equal to r by z minus r by h minus z. So r equal to h minus z by h into a where everything is fixed only z is variable so r cos theta i now r is z, h minus z by h h a so it becomes now minus minus 1 by minus a by h so minus a by h cos theta i minus a by h minus a by h sin theta i plus z k so k okay now someone has to calculate this cross product r minus sin theta i plus r cos theta j one vector another is minus a by h cos theta i minus a by h sin theta j plus k now here r r whatever r we are seeing now this r we can we can change it into z component so that is z minus h by h okay because we are doing the cross product and this the right hand side we have uh, values in kind of so someone can man manipulate so right hand side we have we don't have anything in z we have everything in a and h okay this side we have in r so r r we can change it. So, r is h minus r is h minus z divided by h minus z divided by h a cos theta or whatever it is. Now, someone has to set, settle it down. Now, someone has to calculate the cross product of this r minus sin theta i minus plus r cos theta j and then cross product with minus a by h cos theta i minus a by h sin theta j and plus k. Now, once cross product comes in, then someone has to calculate the magnitude. Whatever magnitude comes, then someone has to integrate with dz. So, full term will be in a, h, theta and z. So, here r will be replaced by h minus z by h into a h minus z by h into a that is the r that that in that minus sine theta i and then h minus z by h a cos theta j and then cross product with minus a by h cos theta i minus a by h sine theta j plus k whatever comes this will full will be in form of a h z and cos theta sine theta whatever it is now this someone has to integrate with the z whatever comes fix the limit then integrate with the theta and fix the limit what is the limit so earlier the limit was circular reason in the x y plane if there is a cone cone falls on x y plane and forms a circular reason so circular reason now i have that was in x and y that i have to transform in theta and z Okay, so someone can try it. I believe it should be all right, and there should not be a big question. So, as far as theta is concerned, then theta will take full round. Theta would take full round, and y y has to come in the form of z. Okay, so we will place the answer because I have to do really the calculation how much it comes it will take time to calculate I cannot do with the, with the memory or something like this so I'll do it 
on pen and with pen and paper and then come up with the result this is indirect way of jacobian there is a direct way of jacobian that we will see and there is something called partial jacobian so direct indirect and partial jacobian everything slowly we will see so this indirect way or indirect way of jacobian or someone can call it is a kind indirect way of jacobian or cross jacobian so these terminology are coming while calculating the surface area so surface area where surface area is in xy plane and xy plane we are taking out mapped uvw or r theta z plane coordinate system now this surface area is directly connected here and then we are doing the surface area calculation and we are trying to come up with a result someone can try and please support us so plus 91 is india country code and 948316610 plus 91 is india country code 948316610 610 so consider supporting us so it helps us so we will see on it indirect way of jacobian calculation that we are seeing in example of calculating the surface area of a cone so we will see surface area of a sphere and those thing also where other form of jacobian we will see that is direct one partial whatever it comes to easiness so that we will see